How's it going everyone? It's me, it's Conjensula. I hope you're having a good day, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. Okay, so we are about to get what is probably going to be one of the lamest events we've ever had, and I have a lot of thoughts regarding it. I think Niantic's approach to this particular in-game event is a little bit sus, and yeah, it's uh, looking really bad for Pokemon Go. And we also got an update to the Heroes Niantic movement that I wanted to share with you. In regards to remote raid passes, it looks like there's a bit of a disconnect with the CEO of Niantic, of course I'm talking about John Hankey, as well as the developers of Pokemon Go. I'm going to be talking about all of this in today's video, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. All right, let's talk about it. So the next in-game event that is happening in Pokemon Go is going to be the Mystic Hero event. This is an event themed around Team Mystic, more notably their team leader Blanc, and you will be able to get an exclusive Lapras with a Blanc themed bow tie. I don't know how this is actually themed around Team Mystic, but in any case, yeah, you're going to be able to get this Lapras and uh, you're only going to be able to get one of them because it's going to be a reward for a special research. Now, there's nothing else going on with this event. There are a couple of bonuses that will actually be useful, but it's just, that's it. There's just a special research. There's no event spawns. There's no something special with PvP. There's no new shiny. There's nothing else. It's just this one special research and a couple of bonuses, and that's pretty much going to be it for these four days. Now I mentioned that there's going to be bonuses. There's one in particular that I thought was actually really interesting. It is that you are going to be able to get bonus XL candy, and it's going to be guaranteed anytime you evolve a Pokemon. Now, there is a lot of implications behind this because getting XL candy is extremely difficult in order to max out your Pokemon, and to be able to get a solid source for it, I mean, I'm all for that. Now, of course, because this is Niantic, they of course messed up the announcement. On certain announcements, they say that you get two guaranteed XL candy when you evolve a Pokemon, but in other places, they say you're only going to get one. I suspect that you will only be able to get one guaranteed XL candy whenever you evolve a Pokemon, but yeah, there is a possibility that you will be able to get two. I'm wondering if this is going to open up for other forms of interesting gameplay in the future. I like the idea of them doing more with XL Candy considering how hard it is to get it. And yeah, who knows, maybe we'll see this particular bonus in future seasons or in future in-game events. I really do like the implications behind this particular bonus. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty lame event. Like, there's no event spawns, which is extremely disappointing. I think there was a lot of opportunity there for them to do some Team Mystic themed spawns and yeah, we're gonna have this evolution bonus but no special spawns, so there's nothing really special that we could evolve in order to get those extra Candy XL. But yeah, let me know your thoughts regarding this Mystic Hero event because I'm really curious to see what the community is thinking regarding this event format. Now, of course, we've been going through a lot with the Heroes Niantic movement this week. Of course, we are about to get this major nerf to remote raid passes. In fact, by the time you watch this video, that remote raid pass nerf may have already just kicked off. And, you know, a lot of players were dreading this. I know a lot of people were suspecting that Niantic would eventually nerf remote raids considering that it was kind of like a temporary feature for the pandemic, but I really did not expect them to go as far as they are currently going. So, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what kind of effect this Heroes Niantic movement will do. Um, I just think there's just a lot of negative sentiments around Pokemon Go right now. And I really do think that Niantic has a lot to do in order to gain a lot of that positivity and a lot of the good graces of the Pokemon Go community that they've lost over the past week. Now something that I recently discovered that I found interesting was that Niantic seems to have a complete disconnect with their CEO John Hankey when it comes to remote raids. And maybe this is why we are going through all of this in the first place. It could all be because of John Hankey. The content creator Fitz City pointed out on Reddit that there was a conversation that was happening between a Niantic employee and a couple of other people where they talked about how John Hankey wanted to get remote raids completely removed from Pokemon Go. And of course, there was a lot of internal pushback from Niantic employees 
trying to get remote raids to stay. I'm wondering if this disconnect is why they are nerfing remote raids in the first place. This could very well be a decision from John Hankey. Of course, we have no confirmation of that, but it is a very strong possibility. Of course, John Hankey is infamous for being so focused on AR gameplay and in-person gameplay that it would make sense that he would not be happy with remote raids. But regardless, it's very interesting that Niantic employees actually have a lot of pushback towards getting rid of remote raids. So at least for us as Pokemon Go players, we could be comforted in knowing the fact that there are a couple of Niantic employees who are on our side. They just unfortunately do not have enough power in the studio to make those decisions that we are looking for. Now a final bit of news that I wanted to talk about which I am actually kind of bittersweet about is the fact that they are opening up Niantic Campfire to more players. This is something that a lot of people have been wanting and a lot of people have been looking forward to and it seems to be as a response to a lot of the backlash with the remote raid pass nerf. And it would make sense that they would want to open up Niantic Campfire to more players right before this remote raid pass nerf because people are going to need it in order to coordinate for in-person raids. Especially with this weekend, with the release of Reggie Eliki and Elite Raids, a lot more coordination is going to be required. And yeah, because remote raids are pretty much going away, people are going to need to talk to other trainers locally in order to get raids set up. You simply cannot just join up in a raid that a player from halfway across the world is sending you. And it's really unfortunate. I mean, this is what Niantic wanted, right? Like, they wanted people to actually play together locally, and they wanted people to collect location data from in-person raids. So, naturally, they're going to open up Campfire to get more people to be able to do that. But yeah, the circumstances around more players getting access to Niantic Campfire is really unfortunate. Like I said, this is bittersweet. I really do like that Niantic Campfire is being opened up to more players, but I really wish it wasn't on the cusp of something just really horrible happening to Pokemon Go. But who knows, maybe this is the catalyst that players will need in order to move on from the remote raid pass nerf. I highly doubt that because the game is pretty much changing for the worse, and I really think a lot of players are going to end up quitting the game outright rather than trying to play the game the way Niantic wants them to play, and this is something Niantic needs to realize. Even though they're giving campfire to more players, it may not be enough to remedy the situation that's about to come. It really is going to be a really tough time in the coming months for Pokemon Go players. And yeah, as I close this video, there's one thing I wanted to point out that I don't think a lot of players have realized considering a lot of the distractions that have been happening lately, but Niantic has been radio silent regarding Pokemon Go Fest and that's Kind of interesting because at least in the last couple of years they would announce what the dates would be or at least like what the venues are going to be by this time of the year but they haven't said anything and that's a little bit concerning because are we even going to have a pokemon go fest this year or is this just another symptom of niantic being just completely out of control right now. There's just been a lot of disorganization and a lot of missteps within Niantic as of late. Like, the players in New Zealand were supposed to get a makeup event for Reggie Drago, but we've heard nothing about that, and there's just a lot of things that Niantic were supposed to do that they were late on, like switching over the field research for April, like they forgot to do that. There's just a lot of things going wrong with Pokemon Go and Niantic lately that it makes me really wonder if there is some sort of internal strife going on and they're just being distracted with some of the things that people are expecting. Regardless of whatever it could be, I'm just hoping for the best. I think the next couple of weeks are going to be really telling for the future of Pokemon Go. Are they going to backtrack on the remote raid pass nerf? I kind of doubt it at this point. I really feel like at least they're going to try to meet us in the middle or they're going to try to explain themselves, but it's still going to generate a lot of backlash. And like I said, it's going to be a really bad time for Pokemon Go players who are continuing to play this game. And we're just going to have to deal with it at this point. And it's just really unfortunate that that is the Pokemon Go experience, that we have to continuously adjust to a lot of negativity. But in any case, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I, uh... Yeah, like, I, there's nothing really else to say. There's going to be a pretty lame event, but it is going to be followed up by what is supposedly going to be a really solid event in the Sustainability Week. But yeah, it's just a lot of disappointment with Pokemon Go right now, and hopefully Niantic can bounce back. They really need to. 
Yeah, if you have any thoughts and opinions regarding anything that I talked about, definitely share them down below. I'd like to get a good conversation going. And if it's your first time here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And, you know, consider becoming a patron on my Patreon because, you know, there's just... You know, like at the very least, we can interact with each other in game, like send each other gifts, hit best friends, like that would be a lot of fun. I will still try to do some remote raids. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be raiding after the changes take effect, but yeah, if you still want to get some remote raid invites, like, you know, become friends with me through Patreon. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. I'm Kanjinsula, be safe, have fun, love yourself, I'll catch you all later.